I've looked at an awful lot of different products in my time, but I'll be entirely honest. Never in my life did I imagine I would be looking at a robot vacuum cleaner. This is the Donkey Robot Vacuum Cleaner from Chihan. Here on the side of the box, you can see some of the features, the charging base and remote control, filter and side brushes, user manual and power adapter. On the other side, you can see it says it auto recharges. It's pretty silent. It says 50 dB, dustbin full timing, touch key and slim 7.6 centimeters. Enough reading the box. Let's just get into it and see what it does. And inside the box, there's a cardboard box. And here's a user manual. It says robot vacuum cleaner DL881. So there's your model number. Looks to be the power brick, barrel connector, US adapter, output of 19 volts at 600 milliamps. Here's the battery, which is a 1500 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery. This would appear to be the charging stand, the base. Just got these two little things that push in and presumably that does inductive charging through that. On top, there's a couple of buttons, one that says 24 hours and one that says full go. And on the back, this actually looks like a 3M foam sticky pad. So you can pull this off and have it stick to a wall or a surface. And then on the side is where you'd actually plug in your 19 volt charger. Here's the remote control complete with two AAA batteries. And on the remote, you can see up, down, left, right, and a center button that looks like it has a stop button on it. Start, uh, patterns, and charge. So I guess this tells it to go back to its charging base. The buttons don't push down a huge amount, but they definitely do work. Oh, and actually there's two spare batteries apparently, because there were two batteries already in here. Here is the robot vacuum, but there's actually some stuff underneath here too. Underneath here, I would assume these are actually replacement brushes, or maybe just the side brushes it mentioned, because there are the brushes. Unwrap this, and there is the donkey robot vacuum. Now it appears to have a bit of a bumper here on the front of it, with what looks like a big sensor array. Maybe I'm mistaken. On the underside, you can see here where those two brushes do fit in. Two wheels and then a little caster here on the front. On the top you have a power button. You've got a couple of lights up here and this would appear to be the the actual way to open it up and install the filter and clean out the dustbin and everything. So let's open that up. So here's the filter and the dustbin. Should be pretty easy to get it out and get it cleaned out and everything. Pop it back down in there. Pop this back on top of it. Keep everything contained. Taking a look through the manual very quickly. There's a suitable usage area. It mentions running it on wood carpet, ceramic, and marble. It says don't use it in any outdoor, commercial, industrial area or anything wet. And don't use it to clean a huge amount of dust, sharp objects, things like that. Don't approach any cigarettes, lighters, anything burning. Don't use it hanging in the air or on stairs or in extremely cold or hot areas. There's actually a little installation guide in here and it mentions putting the brushes on. There you go, they just click into place very easily. And then installing the battery. Should just be able to pop this open. There we go, that opened up sort of easily. And I believe the battery goes in with these three dots lining up there as you would expect. There you go. And actually on the underside here, I noticed there were some switches. There's three switches here. These are anti-cliff sensors. It helps to keep it from falling downstairs. So basically if you've got a big drop, you've got a dark floor, light floor, you'd set these accordingly. And you know, at this point, it looks like it's just about time to turn it on and test it out on some carpet and some wood floors and everything. Now I will mention before we get to that, I've been trying to find out where to actually purchase one of these so I can let you guys know. I don't think it's available on Amazon. It looks like it's available on some of the Chinese sites that I get quadcopters from. So Gearbest, for example, has it for $132.99, which when you compare it to some other robot vacuums, those are in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So $130 is really not that bad except you will have to wait for it to come from China. But let's see how this thing works. All right, battery installed, powered on. You can now see the red light. And the fan is operational. Oh, tap the button and it's going. I don't know where it's going, but it's going. It seems to be navigating around things pretty well. All right, he's been circling the floor a little bit. I'm gonna put some Cheerios in his path and see what happens. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot at all. You don't like Cheerios? Let's just try one. I heard a little crunch. And nothing came out that time. He worked himself into a corner and didn't get stuck. That's pretty nice. Nope, he's confused. There's two. Looks like one of them got taken. And that one did not. Nope. All right, how about some crumbled up Cheez-Its? These are relatively small particles. Let's see. Yep, 
it looks like it got nothing. Well, after I forced it to do a bunch of different passes, it did manage to get it all up. I think it took like 10 passes though, but there was a lot. I mean, there's still a couple of little particles there. But yeah, I, I crunched up a handful of, of Cheez-Its and it eventually got it. It just, I don't know if it would have done it on its own. And I have started messing around with the remote just a little bit. As you can see, it's going on the random pattern right now. But if I go ahead and hit the button, it turns. So I can point it at it, hit the button and hold it and it'll just spin. Or if I hit back, it goes backwards. You gotta be facing exactly in the right direction to get it to do it. You hit the forward button and it'll go forward. Start cleaning. And then just hit one of these cleaning buttons to tell it to clean. And charge should take it back to the charger. Now I'm curious what happens if it doesn't know where the charger is. But you can see it's banging into stuff and it's figuring out how to get around it, little by little. Well, it circled the room and it seems to have figured out where its charging base is. It's trying to get it lodged into itself and not having much luck, so it's just spinning around. It's like, I know where you are, but I don't know how to make this work. Hey, after just a couple of spins, it did seem to figure it out. So now it's flashing green. It did circle the room. It looks like it, it got, if not all the carpet, a uh, grand majority of it. Interesting. In terms of what it picked up, you can see the Cheerios and the, the Cheez-Its and some dog hair and... Yeah, I mean, it, it seemed to pick up a pretty decent amount. Ooh, and even more on the other side of the filter. Not bad. So to go ahead and wrap up, initial impressions of this thing. I definitely don't think it's going to replace your home vacuum cleaner. You're still probably going to have to do a deep clean every so often, maybe once every few weeks. It's got a lot of neat features built into it, and it does seem to do a pretty decent job in the, the one time that I've taken it around. Not sure how the battery life is, but again, it made it around the entirety of the room before it figured out it was time to go ahead and charge. And the battery was probably not 100% charged whenever I turned it on. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this works over time. Let me know if there's anything else you you'd like to see or know about it. But I'll put a link to where you can find this down in the description if you're interested. Leave a thumbs up below the video if you liked it. Subscribe to receive more and I will see you again next time.